Hey guys, welcome to my page, DIY Crafts with Dar. We're gonna do some inking today. I'm gonna make this cute apron. I was thinking the apron was more manly, but it's not. It's actually gathered, so I don't think it would work for a guy. His would be more straight. So this is gonna be a girl's apron. And um, I'm gonna put this pattern on it. Choose your weapon. And then it has the spatula, the, the fork, and the tongs. So let me turn on my little heat press over here. How are you guys? Are you getting ready to watch the Super Bowl? Are you watching all the pregame stuff? A lot of people are. <laughs> me, I'm just hanging out here. Um, I've actually been cleaning house. I'm so excited that I have my whole living room cleaned. My entryway is decorated and I have the kitchen pretty much all cleaned. So um, I hope it stays that way. I did I did say one little corner in the living room. I have to put plastic bins because I need a place to put those. It's all my stuff for my craft show that I already have ready to go. So um, yeah, I'm like, can I just have an exception to the rule? Because <laughs> I'm really trying to keep everything out of there that is um, not supposed to be in there. So anyways, guys, how are you? Happy Sunday. Happy Super Bowl day. I hope that you guys are having a great day, maybe partying with some friends. Come back and watch the replay. If you are busy, do not worry about this, okay? This will be here another day. I just have to do my project. So um, this is such a cute apron. We've, we've made this one before with Santa on it. I, I really like this one and it just slips right over your head and it's just like this. Look how cute that is. But it, it definitely is a girl's apron. I was hoping that it was more manly. I might be able to find one that's manly. I know, I know they're out there. I just, um, my, my problem was I got these at such a good price that I can give you guys a really good price. They were under $10. So, um, for me, I can pass that on to you guys. I don't, I don't ever charge you full price just because I got a discount and I want to make the difference. No. Um, so I'm going to have the transfer and the apron and if you need the ink okay so a lot of you might already have ink but some of you may have never tried it so um uh, half an ink mat because you kind of you kind of want to use that with this to kind of hold your fabric in place and then um it's thick so the ink isn't going to go through this but it'll hold it in place for when you're inking and then you're peeling off the transfer we're going to actually have to wash the transfer because i have an idea at the bottom i want to do this as a repeating pattern at the bottom what do you think of that i think it would be super cute to do that so um i'll end up cutting these pieces out of here i kind of want to leave the border hole just in case I want to use it so I'll end up cutting the center out and those cute little stars there that can go in the pocket okay so I'm going to put this at the top choose your weapon at the top it'll fit it'll fit right there and then at the bottom there's going to be five sets of these at the bottom I think it's going to be cute I also thought this would be super cute with gingerbread on it at the bottom like repeating so I am hoping that they'll come out with this super cute gingerbread project um, a transfer for the for the next season yeah I hope so I have to open a new jar of ink my ink was really solid so um, I know white sometimes can get really thick but it really was very too much solid so <laughs> so I decided you know what I'm going to make it easy on myself I'm going to have a whole new jar it's and see that's why I'm not going to do the little packets because this is going to take a lot if you're going to do this you're going to use a lot of ink so I'm offering a whole jar to you guys at a discount yes <laughs> and the cool squeegee so check that out yeah the cool the cool squeegee that one is actually it's not the squeegee of the month from last year this is actually one from one of our our chalk hunts that we're able to buy extras so um yeah i think it was like three or four years ago anyway anyways here we go let me see who's here just say hello so i know you're watching i know so much is going on don't worry don't stress um you know my life is just chaotic last night i feel like i got nothing done except for searching 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 through all of the lost dogs we found two that we thought um were really good matches because you know she's been out there a long time so her hair will have grown and um one of them um, the guard at this place was holding it for someone to come and pick it up for to take it to a rescue and and his part his um, co-worker didn't let him keep the dog there his co-worker made him and I'm like how can you make him made him release the dog he took the dog to a park 
a park and released it. And um, the dog was really matted and messy. They didn't even know if it was a boy or a girl. I said, why can't they just roll the dog over and see and say, is it a boy or a girl? Because that would be helpful. Um, but the dog is still missing. And I was so mad. But it's not here. It's up in Indio. So it's not like I can just drive there and go searching for this dog during the middle of the night that kind of looks like Chloe, but, you know. So, and another one ended up being a boy. So it's like, ugh. <laughs> I am chasing all the leads. I'm chasing them all. Every single one of them, guys. I won't let any of them go. <laughs> yep. So, hi, Chris. How are you? Hi, Tony. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Darlene. Oh, hello, Darlene. <laughs> Darlene Barr and Darlene Hunger. Hello, hello. Um, yeah, come back and watch the, the replay. Absolutely. It will be here for you. Hi, Melissa. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi, Barb. Hi, Maria. Hi, Julie. Hi, Denise. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Are you the one that asked me about the socks? Um, at, at, um, I think, Denise, did you ask me about the socks from Leadership? Because I was just unpacking my my suitcase, and I'm not going to ever use those the socks that I have. So I think you were the one that asked me. Just let me know. I'll mail them to you. <laughs> I'll mail them to you. Okay, let me put you down to the project, and we'll get started. I know there's not a lot of people here. That's okay, because you know what? There is always, always, always the replay, and I knew that it would be this way, but it's okay, because Darlene has to do a project. This is part of my therapy. Um, hi, Cynthia. How are you? Let me just um, share this over to VIP. And then we'll get started. So we're going to ink this. We're going to put this cute little design on it. I have these available. I have um, eight of these aprons. So if you need an apron, then um, just you're going to head to the VIP group after this. I'm going to have kits available. All right. So let's open our ink. This is a brand new thing of ink. Hi, Karen West. How are you? Going to open up a brand new thing of ink. Oh, I hope. I hope we are. <laughs> there was actually a jar that I had to have my husband open up that was so tight um, the other day <laughs> that I was like, I can't open this. Okay, so this is what this is what a brand new thing of ink looks like. Um, you're gonna see this all over the lid. All right, so I try to get that off. I try to scoop it down into the jar. I don't like to waste any of that. This is nice and creamy. You know that this one is going to spread really easily and I'm already getting it on me. Throw that in the trash. Wash your hands because you probably got some on you. And then we're going to move this out of the way. Okay, so we're going to have to wash in between. I have some Clorox wipes right here. I have lots of paper towels. We're going to have to wash because we're going to use the repeat. We're going to do a repeating pattern at the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to set this up here. I'm going to try not to make a mess today. Hi, Billy. I got your message. I will get back with you. Um, I just wanted to get this done. And the dogs... Oh. The puppies. The puppies got into trouble. <laughs> so, hi, Cynthia. How are Christy? How are you? Um, oh, good, Cynthia. Good, good, good. Um, let me just put myself in the corner. Darlene, go to the corner. There we go. Hello. All right. So you're gonna we're gonna do the first part. We're gonna put this on here. I did iron this, but you know, sometimes, sometimes. The wrinkles don't stay out. I think this is 100% cotton. It really feels like 100% cotton. So we're going to be, we're going to heat setting as we go. All right. So I'm going to take our ink mat or, and I, it's only going to hold it in place. I don't anticipate that any of the ink is going to go through this because this fabric's pretty thick. It's actually like a linen in a way to me, to me. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to pull, there's like a little tab there. I'm going to pull that up. Nice and flat, guys. Okay, so you need it nice and flat here. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Happy Super Bowl day. I'm just trying to get a project in before it starts. My, my hubby was in there cooking for the neighbors. <laughs> I can't eat any of it. So he was cooking twice cooked, twice cooked tacos and also um, uh, Spanish rice. So, hey, Lori, how are you? So the puppy, the, hi Mary, Mary Lee, the puppies got into a lot of trouble. <laughs> I was going to start earlier and I look out the window. I'm going to cut out this part. I want the border to stay whole because I might use that for something else. Um, I look out the window and they have grass everywhere. Okay, so they, we have a little grass um, piece out there that I used to have the grass delivered and I kind of decided that it wasn't our budget anymore that I needed to not do that it was delivered every two weeks 
and it goes in this little plastic container so they have because all our backyard is concrete so i look out there and this is like the last of the grass piece all right so it's been growing because of all the rain that we've had well the puppies tore it to shreds <laughs> <laughs> there's grass and mud everywhere and their little their little noses are all dirty with mud oh my gosh and I'm like oh yeah they're puppies all right they are puppies it just you know they just have been so darn good and sleeping at night not even a peep out of them just just the best and I look out there and there there's stuff everywhere they're just enjoying it you know they're just really enjoying it Okay, you do not have to cut yours out. Uh, it's just going to be easier for me to deal with this. So I'm cutting all this out. I'm going to cut the stars. Okay, I'm going to use that on the pocket. I really have never really cut a transfer apart like this, but here we go. <laughs> here we go, guys. We're just going for it. This part I'm going to have to wash several times. I'm going to do a repeating pattern at the bottom with this. So I, I really wish that this was a man's apron, but... It'll be fine to be a girl's apron. I I will try to find a man's one because this would be really nice for Father's Day. So just kind of just remember these transfers are reusable. Okay, so you can use it over and over. You can use it for your apron. You can use it for your hubbies, for your son-in-law, for whoever. Okay, this part I'm just gonna set to this side. It's reusable. So go Chiefs! Yay! <laughs> I don't know if I have a favorite. I'm I'm kind of. I, I just, I want nobody to get injured. I want it to be fun. <laughs> I don't know that I have a favorite. Oh my goodness. I, I don't want to say. So um, yeah, I think it's going to be a good game. Let me show you something that I did last night. Okay, so I did post these. So I have these kits. Look how cute this is. Remember this from last year. So this was a size C transfer. Some of you guys have this transfer. Some of you are new and so you don't have this transfer. But this is the large size of, remember we just did the size A one. So um, I have these boards and some people said, oh, I have the transfer. Can I just buy the board? Well, the board itself was um, with tax was tw or with shipping was $25. So um, I'm trying to give you guys a discount on things. So I kind of bundled everything together. You can get this surface at Staples. This is not a chocolate tour surface. I think this will look cute with the cow on it too. So I'm, I'm thinking about putting the cow on here, but isn't this really cute? I think it's going to be a great, I think it's going to be a good game too. So I'm trying to hurry so that I'm not in the middle of the game. Okay, so let's just get going. Anyways, I have those kits available. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Let's see how fast I can do this. I know I have to wash. I have to wash this part because because we're going to do a repeating pattern at the bottom. And Darlene is going to try really hard to not make a mess. Okay, so you know I'm just I hate it that I'm messy, but I just am. <laughs> I am. I am. Sam. I am. Okay, so I want to get this so it's straight on here and kind of centered the best that I can. You don't fuzz your transfer when you're putting it onto fabric. Okay, so you want it to stick really tightly. You don't want it to leak. And I'm trying to get it centered and that is probably close. I'm just going to go with it. All right. So make sure that you're not, you don't have any ink on your hands. Because you know what, guys? You'll be like me the other day where I had the ink on the, I flipped the, the sleeve into the ink. Yeah, that wasn't fun. <laughs> go 49ers. Yay. You know, go everybody. I, th I think it's going to be a great game. I'm really excited. So, um, okay, so I'm just going to stir this. Stir, stir, stir. Look at how nice and creamy that is. That is the way it should be. If your ink is starting to get thicker, you can add water. And then you just need to stir the heck out of it. Okay? So, you know, they say don't add water to ink. It doesn't hurt it. I've done it. I've used it like that forever. So, a lot of times the people that are telling us not to use, not to add water, they haven't used the product. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly. So, it's kind of funny because when I went to one of the Watts of Love um, weekends and the CEO and the president of the company were there, they had never done ink. <laughs> they had never done ink. And I'm like, wait, what, wait a second. You represent the product. 
um, you are in charge of all this and you don't know how to do ink, get over here. And we, and we all taught them. We all taught them how to do t-shirts and they and they did a great job. But um, yeah, it was kind of funny that it doesn't always flow that way that the people that are doing, you know, that are at the top, they may have never tried it. So I think it's important that everybody in a company tries to do this so that they know and they understand the product and all of that. I think it's, I think it's important. Like at every level... <laughs> I feel in a company that people at the top should know every single job. They should know how to do it all, right? Or at least have an idea of how it all works. Okay, so I am going to, I'm going to stop that from doing that. So each each area we're going to have to heat set. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to do that. We're not going to just wait because I'll make a mess. I know I will. Okay, so scrape off all that excess because we're going to use that on the rest of the project. Okay, that also helps push it down through the silk screen. Okay, so here's all that that goes back in my jar, just like that, just like that. And then you're gonna peel this off. So the mat that's under, under it is gonna help hold that um, in place. All right, so just kind of get it started. I, I don't like to go diagonal, I like to go straight down. And the font is that way. Okay, so it's, a, it's kind of a rustic type font. Choose your weapon. I love that. Okay, so this is just gonna plop onto here. We're gonna have to wash this right away afterwards because it will get, um, it will dry on there. Okay, I kind of feel like I could do the the stars, but let's not, <laughs> let's not. Watching, um, you have the aprons. Yeah, these are from Hobby Lobby. I got them for a really good price so that I could pass them on to you guys for a really good price. They were under $10 each. So yeah, I like to be able to do that for you guys. Okay, dry, and then we're going to heat set this, okay? So remember there's a mat under there, you don't wanna dry it too much. It's gonna be tough, but yeah. Yeah, I think both of them are really good. I think it's gonna be a great game, it really is. Oh, there goes Marley. Mar Mar! Mar Mar! Mar Mar! She got this bad habit lately. Um, we have this little thing like a little bench that's by the front door and she sits on it and looks out but she likes to sit there and bark at everybody you miss marley where are you no barking okay no barking no barking okay no barking <laughs> she wags her tail at me yes i'm talking to you i was talking to you baby okay so i'm gonna put this over here i don't think that there's gonna be any ink that went through however i want to protect this mat because what come here come here come see mom you can say hi okay she's like looking at me like are you not gonna let me say hi <laughs> are you not gonna let me say hi you never heat set in between layers um i'm not doing layers of of it i'm doing um i'm not doing layers i am doing um a repeating pattern so i'm not doing layers um, but some people, like, um, I have heat set in between layers um, on the truck. So here, let me, let's let Marley say hi. Say hi. Say hi, friends. Hi, friends. See, my, my little sisters are kind of annoying sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to go walking with dad. <laughs> Miss Marley. Okay. You need a bath. You smell like a dog. She smells like a dog. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that. She smells like a dog. Oops, wrong way. Come on. <sighs> there we go. There we go. Come on. She's so funny. Oh, I can't get it to go. Come on. There we go. Okay. Perfect. All right. I know, isn't she a cutie pie? Um, you just heat set once. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So on, but I'm not doing layers on anything. All I'm doing, I'm just doing each area. So what I don't want to do is I don't want to, um, to touch the ink <laughs> where it's not dry. Like I said, I just set that on there. I don't want it to not be dry. So we're just going to heat set each area and We'll move on. Okay, so peel off that ink mat. The ink mat is on the back. I may or may not put the ink mat, um, oh, it is. it did go through a little bit. Yeah, it did. Okay, so good thing I'm putting this here. So see, it did go through a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm gonna hiccup. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna heat set this. We are ready to heat set this, but I think I, think I should dry it just a little bit more. 
I know. Isn't she so sweet? She's so funny. <laughs> she's hilarious. She she cracks me up. But she loves going for a walk now. You know, she they haven't been walking that long around the block and all of that. Um, you know, John started taking them for walks when he was getting ready to go to the desert because he wanted to make sure that they'd be on a leash okay and all of that. So um, she actually, she loves her walks and she she has one of our neighbors that she just adores him. And it was funny because they were walking past his house. That looks really good. I love that. Um, they were walking past his house yesterday and my husband is like, oh, Gary's not in his garage. And she kind of lunges towards his trailer and she saw him over at, at the trailer. Okay, which one? It's upside down. So I'm like, which button do I push? Um, so she knew exactly what she could smell. She knew exactly where he was at. Uh, Marley, you're going to have to stop. You're going to have to stop. No, you don't have to do, you don't have to do 24 hours. Not at all. Nope. I, I heat set um, right away. So if you want to just let it sit there, you can um, for 24 hours and then heat set it. But I dry with a heat gun. So I don't, I don't ever wait 24 hours. Marley, hey, Marley, you need to stop. Okay, but I do heat set at least twice. Hey, hey, hang on just a second. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go grab her. She's gonna have to stay in here with me. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Hey, hey, Missy. You're gonna have to stay in here with me. Yeah, because you're just barking. Okay, I know that's gonna beep, <laughs> but I always do it like three times. So, um, yep. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Charlie. Okay, so. I do it three times because it's usually sticky, especially white. Okay, let me let me see if it is. I'll put this over here. And okay, so if you don't want to dry it with a heat gun, then then you would. Okay, it actually is done. It actually is done. Okay, if you don't want to dry it with a heat gun, then you are going to let it dry for 24 hours. So so that part's correct. If you if you want to go ahead and um, heat set it right away, just take your heat gun or a hair dryer and you are going to dry, dry, dry it, okay? Otherwise, you can let it dry for a week if you want to and heat set it. Um, that's It's not gonna matter. Okay, so I would put stars on here. I think I'm just gonna put them right there. I think that'll be cute, just right there. I know, I love the apron too. <laughs> it's so easy, guys. It really is easy. It is just white chalk paint chalk oh but no it's not chalk paste white ink i'm gonna get something small for this i have a multi-tool so i'm just gonna grab a multi-tool for the stars so it's of the big squeegee all right because you know me <laughs> you know i can't control it you know it all right so there's that okay so just peel it off and Put that back onto the backer sheet. Make sure you wash that because it's gonna dry. And then watch your fingers because I noticed I just got some under my fingernail. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab a Clorox wipe and wipe my finger. All right, and now I'm gonna dry and we'll heat set that. So, so that's, so, and something just fell. Something just jumped. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I think it was my water bottle. Yeah, so this apron I got at, at Christmas time two years ago. I scored some at Hobby Lobby. And I, I kept them. I did, I forgot about them last Christmas. Something happened, you know, my life. You know my life. <laughs> so anyways, I didn't I didn't do anything with it um, last Christmas. I may not put the ink mat underneath it all anymore. Um, I think that, it, I think it's gonna be fine without it. Okay, but I have a piece of parchment paper there. Okay, I heard somebody come in. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna heat set this twice. If I had my little iron, then I would use that. Oh, guys, don't do that. You want to cover it? Do not do that. <laughs> Here, let's cover it. Let's not. I I almost set it down all the way. Okay, so definitely, definitely don't do that. Um, it was almost all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> all right make sure that you make sure you put something on it yeah um you know me <laughs> that 
definitely, definitely put some parchment paper there or your um, others, your other little sheet. What, what Marley? You're a problem child today. <laughs> it's all Marley's fault. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh. Yes, definitely put something on top. Absolutely. <laughs> parchment paper or the other um, sheet this one right here the tough one okay so we're gonna do it twice we're just gonna lift it and do it one more time um, Teflon paper this Teflon is great to put on there so parchment paper Teflon don't ever do what I just did <laughs> all right um, that will be heat set in just a moment. It actually did it really quickly. Some fabrics you have to do three times. Yeah, Teflon sheet is great. Yeah, Teflon or parchment paper, not wax paper, okay? Hey, hello, you cannot eat paper towels. Hello, baby girl. <laughs> yeah, I know you're gonna find trouble. You are just gonna get in trouble. She's like looking at me. She has, she has a paper towel in her mouth. Okay. So there's that. Okay, no harm done. And let me look at the bottom of my iron. Make sure there's nothing on there. Nope, nothing nothing on the bottom. <laughs> I I lucked out. I lucked out because um, you could really ruin it. You could. Okay, so if you don't have a heat press, no big deal. You can use a... Um, what can you use? You can use your iron. Okay, so all you do is set the iron to the temperature that your fabric is. So if it's cotton, then you set it to cotton. If it's polyester, you set it to polyester. Okay. So here's what we're going to do with this. I have a plan. So we're going to do the, we're going to do the center one. Okay. We're going to find where is the center and we're going to do a pattern. Okay. So I think it's going to be cute to do these like this. So do one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So that's my plan. That is my plan. Hi, Darlene. How are you? Okay, you're going to fold this in half. There's your center. <laughs> I, hear, I hear my husband out here. John. Oh, he's, he's deaf. He can't hear. <laughs> he can't hear. Okay, I'm going to put something underneath here before I ink it. I just want to find my center. Here's my center. And I'm going to just put it up about like that. You know, it's not even at the bottom. Okay. So, so the pattern as far as the plaid is not even at the bottom. You got your order and was able to do the east size transfer. Um, oh, nice. Nice. Are you going to be good if I let you out? She's scratching at the door. Okay. So let's put this on here. So we're going to have, this will be the center. Okay. And then I'm going to have one, two, three, four, four more. Okay. So I'm going to have to wash it in between. Sorry about that, but that's just the way it is. So here's my center. All right, okay, I'm gonna let you out, but you gotta be good. All right, there is none of that barking. You understand? There's no barking. There's no barking. They're like little kids. <laughs> you know, um, you get on the phone and the, and the kids act up just like that. Dogs are just like that. Okay, so what I gotta do, guys, is I'm going to put some parchment paper underneath because the ink did go through it a little bit. Instead of putting my ink mat there, I'm just going to use parchment paper because then I can really dry it. Okay, so I'm going to take my ink and we're just going to do this one. <laughs> and then we'll do, we'll do the next two. I don't, I think maybe I can do, maybe I can do the next one. Maybe I can do this one and then do one right next to it. Um, maybe we'll do that. Let's do that. Okay, so let's get this. We'll just see how we can do it. Maybe we can not have to wash as much. Okay, I'm gonna be really careful. I'm gonna try not to make any messes. <laughs> I'm looking at my fingers going, Darlene, don't make any messes. All right, I think this is gonna be so cute. Now, you don't have to do it like this. If you have a better idea, then do it that way. Um, I just thought a repeating pattern across is gonna be so cute, but I am gonna have to heat set. I'm not gonna be able to just leave it and be wet ink because I know myself. I know that I will touch it and I will make a big fat mess <laughs> and then I'll be really sad. So I, I know that I'm gonna have to heat set in between um, like I'll do this one. Maybe I can do one more right next to it and then I'll have to wash it after, but we'll heat set. We'll heat set, um, 
after these two, I think. I think that's, is that a good plan? <laughs> I know you guys are probably watching the game. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna get my fingers and then I'm gonna peel this up and we are going to, okay, that looks cute. Look at how cute that is. Now, I think I can get one right here. Let me just flatten that all out and we're gonna get one right in here. Okay, just like this. And I'm gonna put it down and then I'm gonna have to wash my fingers probably. Do I have stuff on me? <laughs> I oops, I just dropped that on the floor. Hello, hello, no more puppies in here. My, my, uh, I'll have to make sure I pick that up. No puppies in here till I'm all done. I dropped the, um, the multi-tool in there. Okay, I'm just gonna put some on here to use, okay? So, believe me, I cannot do anything without dropping something or making a mess. It just is not in my DNA. <laughs> if I make a mess in here, in here, I'm gonna put hearts. So any little oopsies, I'm gonna turn them into little hearts, okay? <laughs> I'll just get out my stylus or, my, or a paintbrush and I will just make hearts. Okay, but I will have to, I will have to wash after this one, I think. I don't think I can do another one. Let's, let's see how this one turns out. You know, ink is different than chalk paste. So ink is, ink is a lot different than chalk paste. I don't think I can do the whole thing. Do you think I can do one more? Okay, so I know some of you guys do, do t-shirts all the time. Do you think I can do one more? I would love to be able to do one more and not have to wash and then I'll, then I'll wash and then I'll do these two over here. I'm kind of thinking I can kind of thinking um gravity is your friend <laughs> i tell you what i believe um i believe gravity is definitely <laughs> definitely not my friend <laughs> okay I, i'm kind of thinking i can do it guys i'm kind of thinking okay so there's going to be one right here let's see how this one looks if this one is really kind of icky oh it looks good it looks good okay so yeah it's a little iffy right there let me just go over that a little bit Maybe I just didn't push hard enough. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. <laughs> Looks good. Okay. All right. I'm going to fix. There's like a little something at the bottom. I didn't press hard enough. Let's do this one. Let's, let's get this all flat and we'll do one more and then we'll dry these and we'll iron it. I think we're going to do okay. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Ah, the little engine that could. I am gonna be the little engine today, guys. I am the little engine. Okay, so I do need to have this. Did it already get ink on it? Maybe not, maybe I can, maybe I can move it. Okay, there we go. It was a little bit crooked. Okay, I do wanna get all the air bubbles out. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and just go up and then I'm gonna add my ink to it. But this will just kind of adhere it to my, to my apron. <laughs> yep without going up over the top. Okay, okay, I think we're gonna do it. I think we are. Okay, here, gonna grab the ink, and then I do need to fix that because I just didn't go down far enough. I, I didn't see that before, and it was right at the bottom. Okay, so um, as I was pulling it off, I'm like, oops. Okay, yeah, I think it's gonna work, guys. I think it is. I don't have anything on my fingers. I'm making sure that, I'm making sure that I push hard enough and then we'll definitely wash it after this one because I just don't think I can do the other side. Do you? Do you think I can do? I don't think I can. No, I, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to heat set. I'm not gonna push my luck. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make sure I get all the way to the edge, and I am. I am constantly checking my fingers, making sure that I do not have anything on them that I shouldn't. Okay, make sure that there's not any extra ink in there. <laughs> And then I'm going to go from the bottom up on here. I'm going to make sure I get that bottom on that. And I'm trying so hard not to go off the side. All right, looks good, guys. It is looking so cute. I I don't wear aprons, but I might wear this one. Or I'll take it and I'll sell it at my craft show. <laughs> Someone will definitely buy it because it is so darn cute. Don't you think? Make sure you're checking those fingers, okay? Make sure you're checking those fingers. Um, scrape off all the excess that's going to push everything down through there, okay? 
and then we're going to dry this and we'll heat set this much of it okay and we will have to wash this after we heat set then we will we will wash okay so I, I have to keep checking my fingers because I could accidentally get some on me. Looks good, looks good. It looks fabulous. All right, so I have a little bit right here I'm gonna touch up, but here's the great thing, guys, is you can, I'm just gonna plop it onto my backer sheet for the moment. You can use a stylus and you can fix any of that, okay? So here we go, this little part down here. I'm gonna use a teeny tiny end of the stylus, okay? You can use the end of your, um, the end of your detail tool. If you want to, a stylus works just as well. There's that, and then this just isn't as dark as it should be, so I'm just gonna fill it in just a touch, okay? And then we're gonna dry, and we're gonna heat set. Look at how cute this is! This is going to be so stinking cute. Someone's gonna love it. I love it, but I mean, someone, someone will probably want to buy it. <laughs> All right, um, let's dry this, and then let's heat set it all right it's not taking as long as i thought it was i thought it would take a lot longer i know the game's gonna start soon all the pre-game stuff is on yeah sorry guys i'm really trying if you have to come back and watch the the replay absolutely do that you do not have to watch this right now i just need to do it right now <laughs> there's always the replay i don't feel bad it's not gonna it's not gonna break my heart i am not gonna cry there's no crying and talking or inking. Okay, so I'm just drying. You can just let this sit. If you want to do a whole bunch of these and just let them hang somewhere, you could do that. You don't have to dry and heat set immediately. But um, I like to because I have nowhere to put stuff that's safe. My dogs would end up getting it. <laughs> All right, isn't it fun? It is just, to me, it's just really fun. <laughs> okay, so now I got a heat set. All right, so I'm gonna kind of scoosh this over. I'm gonna make sure I have um, my paper under here, and then I'm gonna bring up. Maybe I need to have a little bit more. I'm gonna bring up my mat. Okay, so this has to go under here. It's it's like an ironing mat. It's what you use with the heat press, so that you don't burn your surface okay so there's this is bigger than the bottom of my heat press okay so what I'll do I'll just move that over as we go so I'll do part of it and I'll do part of it part of it part of it okay so my heat press is the big one um Darlene you need something over that <laughs> Darlene <laughs> where is it <laughs> all right so cover it with parchment paper or with Teflon um he'd rather watch me it's more entertaining i'll tell you what um what's in the pocket there's nothing in the pocket um it is just um the stars it's there's nothing in it marley you need to stop okay so let me go ahead and push the button so you set your heat press at 305 and it goes for 30 seconds marley marmar 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 mar. mar. Hey, hey, Marmar. Hey, Marley. Hey, Marley. Come here. You cannot bark. You cannot bark. <laughs> All right, so you're going to do it twice in each area. Okay, so we're going to do two times here and then two times on the other side. Okay, the puppies are probably sleeping. They're, they're being so good. They honestly, that I mean, the only time they really got into trouble, what they're, um, they're grabbing some of my little wood pieces, and then when they dug up the grass. So Marley, oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys, Marley, Marmar, I'm gonna have to go get her again. That is so annoying. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So as soon as I move this over, I'll go grab her. She's just going to have to sit in here and she's just going to have to um, be good. Okay, so here's the second side. I'll be right back. Hey, hello. There's no barking. There's no barking. Okay, I've told you that. No barking. No barking. Spank, spank, spank. No barking. Okay. You're stuck in here the rest of the time. <laughs> Spank your little booty. All right. 
<laughs> now Stubby's going to now Stubby's going to bark. Oh my gosh, my dogs can be just annoying, just like kids, you know. <laughs> yeah, kids can be annoying for sure. <laughs> kids, grandkids, sometimes, but we love them, right? We love them all. All right, so look at how cute this is turning out. Uh, and it and it is um it is heat set okay so our ink is permanent when it's heat set you can wash this again and again and again so if you spill something on it you wipe your hands on it while you're baking cookies um throw it in the in the <laughs> don't throw it in the oven throw it in the washer did I redo it one more time I uh, it's not gonna hurt it to do another time I forgot I I lost track um throw it in the washer and dryer it's fine I have t-shirts that have literally been washed for like two years straight uh, probably every other week I've worn them and they're absolutely fine it doesn't come out okay so our ink is permanent once it is heat set okay so almost done hey Marley what is wrong with you huh why you bark why you bark bark <laughs> I have a little collar that vibrates I should just have that little um, the little controller in here and just kind of hit it when she's doing that, right? Okay, so there we go. There's that. Now we have to wash. We have to wash that transfer. So sorry about that. If I if I wanted to cut up another one, I would, but I really don't want to do that. Look at how cute that is. This is so cute. It's not sticky. Okay, so if it was sticky, you would do it another time. Okay, so that's when you know that it's not quite done if it's sticky. All right, so let's grab our transfer. Let's move this out of the way. Let's just push that to this side, and then I'm going to grab the transfer part, grab this, and I'm going to wash it. And I am just going to use um, a Clorox wipe and my water that fell. Where did it go to? Uh, hello. They were just using Clorox wipes. My uh, my spray bottle is all the way underneath. Okay, so I'm going to use Clorox wipes to wipe, wipe, wipe. It's easiest, guys. It's easiest to do it in the sink and just use water and your um, board eraser. But hey, when you're in a pinch and you have no water because you dropped it and it rolled underneath your table, <laughs> then you use a Clorox wipe, right? Okay, so here we go. Peel that up and wipe that off. Flip it over and get all of that off of there, okay? I usually do it a couple times. All right, so I have another clean um, Clorox wipe that I'm gonna use. And just always wipe underneath because when you're pressing on that, it's pushing it through. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, make sure it's completely clean. And then we're gonna use our little fuzzing cloth to get all, the, all of it dry, okay? So make sure it's completely clean. You don't wanna get ink on your fuzzing cloth, okay? So it seems clean. You could even take a paper towel and kind of dry some of that. If you wanna kind of dry some of it off, you can. And then we are going to put it onto our fuzzing cloth to finish drying, okay? And then we can use it right away. All right, so the fuzzing cloth side that you're going to use is the microfiber side, okay? So this is the fuzzing side. This is the microfiber side. This is the side that's gonna dry it. And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna go like that, give it a little baby massage, and it is gonna be ready to go. So sometimes I will do it twice, you know, um, just to make sure, but it actually feels good. It's all nice and sticky again. So nope, you need to stop. You need to stop. <laughs> so it's ready to go. I'm gonna just kind of set it right over here. Gonna lay this out. Make sure there's no ink on your hands because you did just wash that transfer. And then we are going to get this ready to go. I'm gonna take my piece of parchment paper I think what I'll do is I'll just kind of roll this so that this is um, out of the way, okay? So we need to do two over here. There's the ties. So we're gonna do a set here and a set here, and that's gonna be really easy to do one right after another like we just did. Okay, so let's see, how do we do that? That's up, okay? We wanna do it the same way. So one there, and I'm gonna try to get it about the same at the bottom. I'm gonna get it close. It's not gonna be perfect because Who's perfect? Not me. I'm gonna take a piece of parchment paper and put it underneath because it does leak a little bit through there, just a little bit. Um, oh, hi, Stephanie, how are you? I don't see Emily on here. Um, I, don't, I, don't, 
I don't see an Emily. Oh, she's watching. Emily's watching. Oh, I can see that Emily's watching. She just didn't say hi. Hi, Emily. How are you? <laughs> All right. So take some of your ink and you're just going to spread it. Okay. So just put some here, put some here, and then take your little squeegee and just go ahead and fill in that all that area. If you need to grab some more, you can, but that's probably enough. All right. So fill it first. If you can butter toast, guys, you can do this. Just be a little bit more careful because if you go off the edge, then you're going to have an oopsie and you're going to have to add a heart or a star or something. So go ahead and fill all that in. And then you're going to scrape off the excess. When you're scraping off the excess, that's when it goes down through the silk screen to your fabric or your surface below. Okay, so that's always the magic thing is that you scrape it. Even if it looks like, oh, it's full. No, scrape it because that pushes it through. Okay, so this is like the final thing. The final thing is scraping it. So you scrape off all that excess. You can use that on another project. Be careful at the bottom. <laughs> that you don't get out of control and go off the edge okay so be really careful with that and then look at all that goodness that goes back into your jar and we'll use that for the next one okay so I can peel this off and I'm going to put it right over here so oh Emily and you work together awesome that's so cool um elite bling boss hi how are you welcome um, this is going to be so cute. The top part says choose your weapon and then at the bottom we're just kind of doing a repeating pattern of this I think it's kind of fun. All right. <laughs> and I might even wear it. And I just, I have, um, I have ink on my finger. I can, I can feel it. So I'm going to make sure that I wash my fingers before I do anything. Okay. So, um, yeah, I, I definitely have ink on my finger. No, you're going to stay in here because you were naughty. <laughs> She's like scraping at the door. Okay. Let's kind of get this so that it is down onto the fabric. No. You need to stop. You need to stop, baby girl. If you would not be barking out there, we'd be fine. Okay, so what I need to do, see, I have it on my thumb. I'm going to grab a Clorox wipe. I'm going to wipe my fingers. I'm going to wipe this little squeegee here, the top of it, because you don't want to, you do not want to have some on your hands. Let me just tell you, you cannot wash your hands enough Honestly, <laughs> you want to make sure that you're washing them and making sure that there is no ink on them. Okay, so here we go again. We're going to put some of this on there. Hey, Shelly, how are you? It's fun. This is really a fun one. So I have these kits. I have, I have the apron. I have the transfer. I have the ink. So if you haven't tried ink and you want to try it and you're like, that looks like it'd be easy. It really is. And you get this cool colored squeegee. Okay. This is from one of the chalk cons, one of our conventions a few years ago. So um, we sometimes we're able to buy extras if they have, if they have extras, um, we're able to buy some and that's what I had did I had done that year and I still have them <laughs> so I recently started going through everything and I'm like oh you get a squeegee and you get a squeegee and you get a squeegee so sometimes you might get your package and you just have something extra in there that you go I didn't order that and just consider that is happy mail unless it's something really really like if, if, if it's something uh, really big, you might want to ask me <laughs> in case I made a mistake. But for the most part, everybody at some point is getting happy mail. So I just kind of rotate, kind of rotate and try to give you guys different things. Okay, check your fingers. Okay, we're going to peel and just make sure you got everything. You can lay it back down if you need to. Um, like that is not, that's not done at the top. So let me just grab a little bit of ink. And let's just go back over that. It's not done at the top. We want to make sure that we get everything, right? Uh, 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 stop. You stop. <laughs> All right, because you can always lay it back down and it's still not at the top. Um, go. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, perfect. Looks good. Looks good. Don't rip it off like a band-aid because you can lay it back down if you need to. All right, perfect, guys. Okay, this is going on to the backer sheet. And then guess what, guys? We're going to wash this as soon as I'm done. I will take it to the kitchen. I'll wash it in my sink. And you can use it over and over. So you can make lots of aprons. You can make different things, too. So you can make a sign. You could chuck something. You don't have to. You do not have to do an apron. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, let's dry and then we're gonna heat set this. So let's see, here's my heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, you can use a hair dryer. If you don't have either of those, you can just let it dry overnight or for 24 hours and then heat set it. You can let it sit for a whole week and heat set it. Excuse me, hello, we're not gonna do that. Hello, baby girl. No, no, no. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna try to dig through this door. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. So we're just gonna get it kind of dry and then we'll then we will heat set it with the heat press. You don't have to have a heat press, like I said, and iron will work. Alright, I know the Super Bowl just started. Sorry guys. I was really trying. I was trying. Okay, so I'm gonna put this underneath. This is our mat. If you're just coming on, this is our mat that you put underneath to protect your surface so you can iron right here anywhere. It's like it's like a portable um, ironing board in a way. Okay, that's gonna go right like that. We've already heat set these over here. So these two are the only ones that need to be heat set. So I'm gonna cover it with my Teflon paper and I'm gonna make sure that I scooch it over just a little bit, kind of on the edge. All right, there we go. Okay, so let me cover that and then um, we are going to heat set it. Okay, so I have this at 305 and we're gonna heat set it for, um, there's a little bit of a shadow on there from the from before. <laughs> I can see the little tools. We're gonna to heat set it for 30 seconds twice at 305. I think it's covering everything. I Yeah, I think it is. So, uh, hello, hello puppies. <laughs> hello, baby girl, Miss Marley. Hi, hi. See, that's what I'm doing. We're almost done, okay? Just give me a, a few more minutes, okay? Just a couple of minutes. All right, baby, I love you. You have to be good though, you do. <laughs> All right, almost there. Okay, so we're gonna just lift it up and then I push it again. I don't even know where I lift it up. I just do. <laughs> So it is covering the top and everything. So it's covering the whole thing. Uh, uh, uh. No, no, no. I'm going to get a drink of water here. When, when it's done with this, it will be completely done. And it's washable. It's going to stay. It's not going anywhere. You could do cute little towels with this. You could do hot pot holders if they're like really flat. If they're bumpy, it's not easy to do them. All right. Drink the water there. Okay, but this is ink. Okay, so we have ink and we have chalk paste. I love doing ink at least once a week. I'm trying to get back to it. It had been a while. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off and then I'm going to chuck it. If it feels sticky, I'm gonna do it one more time, but um, before it didn't feel sticky. Okay, feels good, feels good. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna take the mat out. And guys, we are done. I'm gonna be careful. I'm not gonna touch the ink up there because that was my mistake last week on my t-shirt <laughs> and I never did get all of it out but but look at this look how cute this is choose your weapon look how cute that it's adorable I'm going to try it on for you hello hello Miss Marley hey hey do not do that to my door would you like me to open the door for you okay I will I'll open the door <laughs> just just a moment though okay <laughs> I think it's super cute. Let me put you up to myself and I'll try it on. We will try it on. We, not Marley and I. But Marley wants to say hi again. Oh my goodness. You just need so much attention, huh? Who just needs so much attention, huh? Say, say hi. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. I love your friends. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me go ahead and try it on. Okay, so isn't that so cute? I, I tied the top. So I just tied like a little um, bow at the top. All right, and then I'm gonna put it over my head. Ah, and look at that, choose your weapon. And then it just ties in the back. Okay, just like that. All right, and then the bottom, here's the bottom. Look how fun that is. That is so darn cute. Okay, I'm gonna let you out. Hang on just a second, let me let her out. You cannot bark, okay? Do not bark. <laughs> She's like, sure, mom. Sure, mom. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Okay, so I have kids. I have eight. I only have eight because that's how many aprons I have left. I love this. I think it is so darn cute. <laughs> I think I should go up to my neighbors wearing this. <laughs> I should go I should go crash the Super Bowl party that my husband's at and, um, and be wearing this. All right. <laughs> ah! Oh, I love it. I love it, guys. All right. Okay, it's fun. <laughs> 
Okay, it's it's all done. Thank you so much for being here. Go go watch the Super Bowl. Good luck to both teams. I don't have a favorite. <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna say I don't want any injuries. Okay, so I'm gonna say um, play nice. <laughs> Play nice. <laughs> All right, there we go, guys. I love it. It's so much fun. Thanks for being here. The the kids um the kids are already they've already dropped over in the VIP group. Let me give you the link for that. So if you need the link for that, it is right here in the VIP group. You go to the VIP group, and VIP group does not cost anything. It's just it's a private group that I put sale items in. So I have these discounted over there. And um, let's see, did it go? Yes, there it is. So if you need one, there you go, National Anthem. Oh, I'm going to have to go back and see if I can listen to it. I missed it. I missed it. Darn. All right, guys. I love you guys. Um, tomorrow's Monday. I'll be here in the morning. All right. Love you guys. And I'll probably be dropping some more kits tonight that I found. I've been going through things. Okay, so remember the airplane, um, the uh, the dinosaurs, the cactus, the um, the level up one that's like a game like a gamer one those kits I have like a few like four of this and three of that so I'm going to be putting those over there at a really deep discount I can't tell you how much because um, I'm not allowed to but it's going to be a really good discount for you guys really good really good prices <laughs> all right I love you guys you see the any questions okay all right <laughs> <laughs> what did you say you don't care? oh you don't care who would oh yeah i i just want a good game i love the game i love the halftime stuff too yeah it's always fun all right love you guys i'll see you tomorrow bye